Well, they didn't need to fail, but what they needed to do is not adopt what they were talking about, a cap and trade with offsets, because that is very ineffectual. It r results in very little, if any, reduction in carbon emissions. And furthermore, there's no way to make that kind of agreement global. There's no way that China and India are going to accept a cap on their economy. So what we need is a simpler, more honest approach in which the problem is that as long as fossil fuels are the cheapest energy, we will keep using them one way or another. If you try to cap them one place, they get used some other place. Yeah, it's very simple. A fee and dividend approach or fee and green check approach is to put a price on carbon oil, gas, and coal at the mine or wellhead or port of entry, just a f one number, but that number should increase over time. So there should be a gradually rising price on carbon. And the money that's collected should be given to the public one way or another, a green check preferably, because then people have the money to invest in uh, carbon-free or low-carbon technologies. The public doesn't really recognize in their day-to-day -day life that big an effect. And so it's not, there's not a lot of support for it. But the public does realize that we need to solve the addiction to fossil fuels. And we're going to have to move to the post-fossil fuel era anyhow. So it makes sense to have policies that will move us in that direction. Well, there's no need to cut production. The, the change from the current fossil fuel driven industry to a greener industry is actually going to require a lot of investment and will put more people to work. I mean, coal is now mined with huge machines which require very few people. The number of coal miners that are left is, is a fraction of what it was a few decades ago. There's many more jobs and better jobs in things like wind and solar and the th nuclear power is going to require a lot of highly paid uh, positions. So it's not going to be an economic sacrifice to move to uh, cleaner energies. Well, sure, the U.S. should be doing more to solve the climate problem because we are still the biggest contributors by far to the excess carbon in the air. Now China has passed the United States in current emissions, but if you look at the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, it's a result of emissions over the last century. And the United States is responsible for three times more than any other country, with China being second. But yes, so the U.S. should certainly be doing more. Well, those incidents, the IPCC error and the climate gate discussions, uh, really need to be looked at in a broader perspective. The fundamental story is correct, and the fact that a wrong date was given for when the glaciers would be gone is a minor point. It should never have made a mountain out of that molehill. But that's because the, the people who prefer to continue business as usual are using this as a way to cast a doubt on the whole theory, while in fact there is no doubt about the whole theory.